Three, two, one. What's up, everyone? Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture. I hope you're enjoying your day. It's February 15th, 2018. We're going to check out Litecoin. Litecoin just hanging out at 219.31 right now, hovering around that 220 area. That 220 area. Something we need to check out. But let's jump into the charts. Let's look at it. Let's look at some lines. Don't get freaked out by the lines because they're there. And if you hate lines, you're not going to like this video, but let's take it one step at a time. The orange uptrend that we've enjoyed is there. Okay. We have the orange uptrend. We have the upper and lower. And what we have here in the pink is really the, the downtrend that we've seen. And we've been following very closely and we've been bouncing around in there and we finally you remember we did this video the other day right around here at this there was a you know i think i was on the one the daily i couldn't remember what what time frame but ton of confluence in this in this area and we actually shortly after around a day later broke through the upper trend line and we broke through the 200 um the 200 area and now we're kind of we we went up to 235 i believe we touched and now we're hovering at that two, that 220 area. And if we zoom in on a 15 minute, we can really get a better idea of, of that area because on the, on the four hour, it just looks like it's just a mess. It's just kind of like, let's zoom in here. Right in there, this four hour is just like, what are you doing at this, at this, at this 220? Um, and that's the question, what is it doing? So for clues, we can do a couple things. We can, first of all, go to the 15 minute. One thing I want to keep an eye on is the fact that on the 15 minute, we can really get a clear indicator that this 235 has kind of become a resistance. So on the upside, what I'd really look for is if we do, if we do eventually make a run up, I look at the 235. If we touch up around the 235 again, we're going to, we're going to break through it. I can, I can say that confidently. Obviously nobody knows, but I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. I really truly believe if we touch that again, we're going to break through it and we're going to see, we're going to see our next resistance at 250. Uh, so let's go back to the four hour and on this four hour where all these lines are, we have a couple things going on. So we have this uptrend and the downtrend. And I, let me actually, let me talk about this, this uptrend, first of all, that I, I really, I feel confident about it. I like it. Uh, I think it goes back to April. If you go back before April and before 2017, it's a different, it's a different life. It's a different time for crypto. And I think this new channel that is really pretty clear on the screen right here, this, this huge up, this huge uptrend here, up here, and this, this long-term uptrend, it's really indicative of, you know, market, the market catching on to crypto. And it's still only a small piece of the market. So keep that in mind. But I feel I feel pretty good about this, this channel, this uptrend channel that that we've kind of been bouncing around in. So that's a channel I'm going to use. And you can even see along this channel, we've we've taken, you know, these downtrends multiple times, downtrend, downtrend. And it's happened time and time again. And what's interesting about it is always to think back, you know, at these new highs and a higher high and a higher high. And then these pullbacks back down the market. Then it's always interesting to think about their mindset and what were they saying and what were they expecting um, this high? Were they were they thinking that was the high, the only high they were going to see? And then they they bounced all the way back down to 30 some dollars and we can really relate to that and you know maybe we have another uptrend and we'll be able to relate to it again but on a charting perspective i like this channel and we can revisit these downtrends that have formed you know as we kind of bounce off the top of this uptrend channel line this up uptrend line this upper line and it's happened now it's happened recently let me get rid of that line so let's zoom in a little bit and check it out. So right now we are, we're zoomed in. And if we want to look at this long-term line, 
this uptrend on the bottom, we see it going and we kind of, before we even talk about revisiting the bottom of this, this trend line, what we wanna look at is where we are support wise. And where I see us being support line, support wise is I, right at this minute that I'm doing this video, I don't see a ton of support at 220. Um, we can re we can look at G the GDAX order books right now, and there's just not a lot of support at 220, and that's diminishing quickly. I I was just in here, and it was way higher than that. So, besides 220, what are we looking at? Definitely some support at 200. So I'd eye up I'd eye up 200 as a, a strong support zone for Litecoin right now. So even if we kind of need to make a little bit of a I don't want to call it a correction, but just we want to cool down a little bit. I could see 200 being that area where we do it. So, you know, look out for the 200 area though, because if we do revisit that, we need that to hold. Um, Cause I, you know, I really don't really want to talk about even revisiting this area down here, especially as this downtrend that we've been in the pink meets the lower line of this uptrend. Uh, I'd rather not be down here. Uh, to see what's going on and how we're going to make out. I'd rather be up here. And actually speaking speaking along those lines, we can actually go back into, I believe, uh, what area was this? Let me widen this for everybody. Never fails. So we can go back to uh, this area. Same thing. Back in this little this little downtrend that was forming, we didn't actually revisit, you know, as this this downtrend channel revisits the uh, the bottom line of this uptrend. We didn't we didn't revisit it. So uh, it's not like we always have to come back down and, and retest support zones. We don't. So uh, keeping an eye on that, what I really want to get to is where could we go from here? If we don't revisit these these areas and we have this crazy uptrend, and what I'll do is I'll actually zoom out on the chart a little bit so you can see kind of more long-term of this uptrend. Because I know that's what everybody wants, right? That long-term, that not prediction, but the outlook. Is it positive? Well, you know, what's this uptrend have us at around April? I mean, right here we're at 200. So, what could that look like? We could bounce around, we can come back down and test, we can bounce up, we can bounce back down 200 area in April. But the long-term trend, let's just look at it if it happens. So December 16th, 2018, you know, we're at, um, we're at, where are we here? I think that's actually at the end of this line. It's at, at, at the end of the green line. And it's right around, one thousand to fifteen hundred dollars um actually seventeen hundred dollars so are we going to be trading at seventeen hundred dollars by the end of 2018 coming up in december if we had a december like the one we had this past year possibly so me personally the way that i approach this thing is i buy dips so i'm very comfortable with this with this line with this uptrend line in this uptrend channel because there are a lot of ridiculous things uh coming into play for 2018 for litecoin in particular and i mean for cryptocurrency in general but for litecoin so i have no problem with this channel that i have on the screen so me personally my approach is always to be is always to buy dips um so i always want to keep an eye on this this trend line this lower trend line and i always want to keep a, on a, an eye on these you know, short term support lines, because that's really where um, we really get to see action. We really get to anticipate what might what might we see next. So those are kind of my thoughts. I know it's a little bit long winded, but I kind of wanted to dive in a little bit more into my way of thinking as opposed to keeping it really simple and surface, because this is the way, you know, this is what I do. This is what I look at. And these are the, this is the Litecoin story in my mind that I'm telling. Uh, which is really based on this this channel that we're trading and bouncing around in right now. And you can see we're actually at the lower ha half of the channel. So I really want to see us break this 250. That's what I'm waiting for. 
uh, then I can really confidently say I think we might actually be making another run up to the top of the channel. So keep an eye on the 220. If it breaks, keep an eye on 200. Otherwise, let's hope we don't have to revisit these uh, these lower these lower areas. So if we do visit those lower areas, I will be buying. Those are my thoughts. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. God bless.